What is a producer? No job on a movie set is less defined than producer. It is the most underrated and overrated title people can get. They're either the most unappreciated, hardworking guy in a movie, or someone who just happened to do something seemingly innocuous, but without that act, the movie never would have been made. Because of the micro-budget tiny shoots that have become so common, the job of director and producer have fused into one. But when the productions get bigger, and those two functions have to be separated, a lot of confusion ensues. The producer controls a project from inception to marketing. There are all kinds of producers, co-producers, associate producers, executive producers, co-executive producer, unit production managers, line producers, and even more titles. On an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie from the 80s, one of the on-screen credits is a co-producer who some total work on the film was that he was the hairstylist who the producer had hand Arnold the script. That earned him a co-producer credit. Kevin Smith on several of his books states he is the co-executive producer of an Oscar-winning film. The movie in question is Goodwill Hunting. Here's the sum total work that he did on that film. Kevin called Harvey Weinstein from the set of Chasing Amy and told him that Matt Damon and Ben Affleck had a script he should read. Harvey said okay, and they hung up. Ta-da! He just co-executive produced an Oscar-winning film. In both of these examples, do they deserve these lofty co-producer titles? Yes! The movie never would have been made without them. The directors usually get the big credit by the press and the public, but the producers are the unsung heroes. Without Scott Mosier, there is no Kevin Smith. Without Lawrence Bender, we wouldn't know who Quentin Tarantino was. We may have recognized Ron Howard, and he would forever be Opie or Richie Cunningham if not for his producer, Brian Grazer. 